welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your next 48 hours. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Big Cat Wave. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody doesn't want you to speak up on a situation, darling dear. And it also speaks about speaking your truth, darling dear. Mm -hmm. The throat chakra must be activated as you kick your way into the next 48 hours, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The planetary energies are Mars in Gemini squares, Neptune in Pisces. Patience is a virtue. Something that this aspect lacks. So be careful, darling dear, with your words, because you'll all be in the cerebral and you may be acting on what? Tissues of lies, disillusionment, darling dear, to the full, the full of what's going on. It's easy to reach your boiling point and create some kind of drama.com, darling dear. Mm -hmm. The sun in Libra trines, Saturn in Aquarius. We love a trine. Why? It's an opportunity, darling dear. It also comes with luck. Mm -hmm. Bringing harmony through true change. Mm -hmm. Work is easy to manage and overcome during this aspect. Helping you finish boring tasks with ease, darling dear, like a boss. Why? It's for your goals, darling dears. You've got plans within plans, my big cat earth signs. You may also find breakthrough in old problems and obstacles that you previously hadn't thought of. Why? Because I told you, the sun in Libra is trying in Saturn in Aquarius, darling dears. This means Aquarius is about analyzing, analytical, and it's also about groups as well as organizations and your routines, darling dears. The house of responsibility. And we've got Libra, Harmony and Balance, mate. The Justice card in Tarot. Mm -hmm. Let's get your ancestral message. We're going to use the Mermaid Oracle. Ancestral message. Oh, look at the candle, darling dears. It's still a light. But it's created a pool. This is about you being more in your subconscious, darling dear. This is you breaking through a glass ceiling because there's a ledge that's been created, but it's about you creating a new paradigm for yourself over the next 48 hours. My big cat earth signs. It also speaks about someone being sealed, being tear, tearful, but this is an epiphany, darling dear. Not tears of regret or wrong choice, but epiphany, understanding a situation. You're getting the full 100 on a situation. But you must remember, that what? Mars is in Gemini, squaring Neptune in Pisces, which is going to be having tempers at boiling point. Be prepared to remember that you respond and don't react, and not every battle must you attend. Yeah, love, darling, dear. Somebody's about to fall in love, or it's the love of self. Love means many things. It means nurturing, darling, dear. The love of your goals, your ideas, love of a new beginning, a new chapter. Mm -hmm, the love of evolution but love with love comes true understanding but the understanding must come from self we see a lot of fish this speaks about pisces energy pisces is the 12th house it's about um for some you'll be making hospital visits over the next 48 hours and it also speaks about escapism maybe you're going too much on the what the bob marley's made you need to be a bit more sane and sober of mind darling dear mm -hmm, this is not the time to relax why? The 12th house is the house of hidden enemies, darling dears. Somebody's not loving your gangster. They didn't like you. They didn't like your eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Face of the deck. Well, they better what? Suck it up and sit on the plastic seat in the nosebleed section. It also speaks about what? When you love on thyself, you're giving yourself accept acceptance. Validation, self-validation, darling dears. It's the only way to go. Just saw 444 on the counter, meaning you're on the right path. Fist bump. As we dive into this read, I was guided to take these cards to read from. Let's see what else comes out. And then we'll get into it. Thank you. Thank you. 
think about psychic and criminal, darling, dear. True love. Mm -hmm. For some, it's on its face. Somebody is pretending to be intuitive or trying to use their emotions to be accepted into way into your what? Inner circle. You better get your boozy badass on, darling, dear. Your third eye buffed up to a be sheen shine, as well as what everyone must be interviewed. I told you, we interview everyone in this at this stage of the game. Why? Because of liars, thieves, cheaters, users, swindlers, back front neck tabbers that get no S, a frenemy, a hater that comes with the bad vibes, the bad advice, right? Mm -hmm. The bad intentions and the bad credit. Acceptance, darling, dear. Ask questions and rely on your intuition and your discernment in every situation. We also have criminal. Somebody who's mean and low budget and mean. Good God. That is criminal. Let's get a deck and see what's going on, darling. This criminal could be anything. Somebody could be what? Using um their abilities. This could be a reader, another reader that is is criminal with their ways, darling. This. Somebody who's not speaking their truth. Maybe they're doing it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like to speculate on other readers. It's none of my business. Base of the deck, we've got the chariot energy cancer. Energy speaks about progress. It speaks about moving forward, taking a fresh approach. It also speaks about what? Travel, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Chariot energy, as I said, cancer energy. Cancer is ruled by the moon. The moon also rules Pisces, darling dear. Again, we go back to the what? 12th house, hidden enemies. And definitely somebody's going to be traveling towards a, a doctor's visit or a hospital visit, but the 12th house is about the mind. It could be what? Seeking counseling or be a counselor, darling dears. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's about the warrior within, darling dear. Somebody's also putting feelers out about you or you about them or about a situation. It continues to tell us about your determination and drive. Someone is thinking about taking a joint trip, darling dear. A joint trip. Mm. Make sure that the person that you're joining the trip with is not the devil's strongest worker. Interview them, darling dear. It's one thing knowing someone, but being trapped in a foreign country on a foreign land with someone that you're not getting on with, it's criminal. Yeah, use your intuition and your discernment on the, on the criminal, darling, dear. This is about you, what? Finding out things that the high priest or priestess gets to the secrets of it all. It also speaks again about somebody in the spiritual community, darling, dears. That is a criminal. Base of the death. Somebody that's creating a lot of sadness with the information that they're putting out there. I don't like to read on other readers. Why are we here? Why are we here? Base of the deck. This person is disingenuous. Good golly and gosh, face of the deck, the page, a liar, darling dear, and a conspirer. Mm. This is also somebody, what, putting on their, what, third eye to a bitch in shine in a situation, could be a matter of the heart, possibly moving away from a situation that created a lot of heartbreak, sadness, and loss, and it also speaks about regret. Somebody's regretting that they, they didn't come through with the cup, or the cup they came through with was full of bull swanky, darling, the hopium and cognitive dissonance. Somebody's regretting that, a lot of cups is moon, moon energy emotions darling yes somebody's emotions is in turmoil because i told you they're the devil's strongest worker this person has addictions darling dears and they would like to come and offer an apology to you all of this emotional energy good golly and gosh the subterfuge the bull swanky mm -hmm. water energy a lot of warrior energy here cancer pisces and scorpio oh on the Capricorn energy, and they are on opposites on the um, on the natal chart, darling. Yeah, it could have been a case of opposite attracting, not getting the full information about a romantic situation that you went into. It could have been a friendship, darling. Yeah, but this is a lot of jealousy that's been directed at you by the disingenuous. We're also seeing that somebody's going to be making a choice, a choice to not go ahead with a pregnancy. Everybody has their own choices to make, darling. Yes, you have the page of ones. They see it as a good news, the right option for them. Only the carry off said child can make that decision, darling dear. Ace of Cups, look. It's about having a child on a budget or somebody's come dealing with somebody with low budget emotions, darling dears. On the budget, the Ace of Cups also speaks about what? 
maybe you are coming out of a budget having what applied multiple streams of income you found different ways to bring income to you it also speaks about what budgeting your emotions not offering up all of your emotions to a situation till you've got the full intel done the recon mentally physically and emotionally as well as what keyboardly yeah everything can be found out online darling dear work at it and it looks like your money is going to be good over the next 48 hours as you budget in one area in order to what having your cup run off over in another mm -hmm. possibly lessening your time and energy of a situation what's this meaning good golly and gosh whoever's mean darling dear they're under manners somebody's seeing you as a meanie because you put boundaries in a situation it also speaks about organization somebody's about to get a promotion in the organization over the next 48 hours in this new job this new new building it's it's a building this is where you're going to find a true love's first kiss wheel of fortune something that's destined for you and you alone the hierophant taurus energy it also speaks about being wise and trusting in the unseen yeah, because there's a lot of bad energy afoot, darling dear. This is the fake friend in me. Yeah, somebody who could also be a full-on homosexual looking for a gaff. Yeah, when I said, oh, look, a page. What? Someone who is an opportunist or somebody would like to have another opportunity with you. Your back is to this person and they're crying into their fists. Luke 62, 22. Having offered that cup around the world and ay ay ay, And you know this, man. This is about going within and seeking answers, the best possible answer for you. You sit between the two pillars of wisdom, Boaz and Jashin. What they did to you in the past was criminal, darling, dear. But for you to bring that back, bring this low budget person, right? Low viber back into your situation would be catastrophe. They're mean, mean. Yeah, you better disappoint them blood, bruh. Or this dream, they're feeling like a whole dickhead and a dumbass and disillusioned. Four of Cups. Somebody wants to offer an imaginary cup to you, darling. Yeah, the same rusty cup that they had on their high horse as they charmed all and sundry. Somebody who's a page, darling. Yeah, possibly somebody you was um, sexually involved with in the past, or it could be somebody coming towards you. What's this psychic ability? Your money's looking good. All of the pentacles are in the upright. You're leaning on what a higher understanding in every situation. Recognizing not every energy you can decipher, so you give it to God. It also speaks about forgiving a situation. Having forgiven a situation, you release yourself, darling dear. You are no longer taking the poison and waiting for someone to die. And this is what is opening up opportunities for you. It speaks about what being blessed in someone's face. They're not happy about what you've got going on. Continue to make right choices. And it also speaks about a partnership, darling dear. Somebody's worried about a partnership. It could be a contract through work or something to do with love, matters of the heart coming towards you, something that's going to be more stable and secure. Well, that's how you like it, my big cat earth signs. You like stable and secure. We see the love, we see the true love, and underneath that, you win. And underneath that, look, I'm not making it up. You deserve love. You crush those road rose-colored glasses right under your flip-flop of common sense because it was tired and worn out gained a new perspective and lead with the truth roof the magician the badass alchemist ways you use that to take the blindfold off your eyes realized who was in the situations for benefits alone and your ideas your high ideals page, page of ones darling dears mm. it's all coming out now i feel like i needed to shuffle listen whomsoever was what that meaning with the energy, the lies being their real self, the mask wearer, it fell on the, the, the hierophant. The universe says, no, someone's being blocked. And they know it, mate. Mm -hmm. Somebody who felt they was too sexy for their shirt, so took it off in many, many a domicile. They're sorry now, mate, but they are full of regret and not remorse. On the devil card, they're watching you be blessed, darling, dear, and they're not happy. Still in addictive cycles, drugs, alcohol, all sex, porn, you name it. You name it. Mm -hmm. And they're sorry. And the page. And anything that comes out of this person's mouth would be what? The workings of the devil himself. The most diligent worker, darling dear. Pennywise son or daughter. Yeah. Base of the deck. As I said, you're controlling the situation. This speaks about a new home, a new job, and or a new form of employment. You've secured another bag, darling dears. You was a student 
Mm -hmm. But you did your due diligence. This is about being curious for more knowledge. You sought knowledge. And somebody is jealous of the fact that you're cerebral, darling dears. You're all about what? Making yourself stable. Root chakra in the right, going in the right way, darling dear. You Listen, you had to mate because your, your heart was broken. Hey, hey, the betraying betrayer. Please stand up. Mm -hmm. What's this psychic ability? What do you need to know about over the next 48 hours? This one tried to jump. Yeah, the cycles that you ended and a new beginning which you've created for yourself. This is the world card represented by you, Earth signs. Yes, baby, you're in your element. Mm -hmm. Earth and Saturn energy. And Saturn is the ruler of what? Um, Capricorn, darling, India. Yeah. Saturn is also about rules and regulations. Saturn is the master of time. It took time for your, your abilities to develop. Somebody's been working on it. And it could also speak about the World Wide Web. This could also speak about somebody who's into tarot. Some kind of healing work on the web, darling, India. Yeah. The world card speaks about the ending of a cycle in order for a new one to begin. It also represents the fixed signs of Taurus. Yes, another earth sign. Yes, be a bit. Um, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius. It speaks about a, a guide or being guided towards a fresh start. One that is based in knowledge. It also speaks about travel. Some of you are going to be traveling, darling, dear. Mm -hmm. Somebody re is recognizing your limits are limitless as you become more disciplined. Yes, be a bit. Love it. Love it. I'm also hearing something about um, um, science and law. Maybe somebody's somebody's going into the law, the legal field. Or you're balancing out the two worlds, darling dears, the Freedy and the Malkuf, darling dear, Earth Angel you be. And it also speaks about ancestral protection. It speaks about moderation. Somebody needs to moderate or they have started moderating their drugs or alcohol intake, where they spend their energy and time. This is about you what? Cutting off what no longer serves you in order for a new cycle to begin in your life. Turning your back on what? Things that don't work for you, darling dear. You're shapely back. Law 16 of the 48 laws of power. Intuitively guided to move away from a situation. This is why the opportunities are coming. Expect to be extremely busy, darling dear. Because why do I see this? Because we've got a Scorpio new moon solar eclipse, right? On the 25th of October. And I told you, you expect to be extremely Engaging and engaged, darling dears. This is also my ring bearing card. Mm -hmm. Somebody will be meeting their true love's first kiss, right? Time for action, yeah. True loyalty on the way, darling dear, but somebody who's going to be slow to speak their true intention. They're going to be interviewing you as you'll be interviewing everybody's interviewing everybody, yeah, because you want a right fit. This is loyalty. This is not somebody that's going to be what. Jumping around, darling dear, and giving you shocks and surprises. This is someone who will say, mean what they say and say what they mean. And somebody who's quick to act as well as defend. It also speaks about somebody who's been on a long journey of study, darling dears. Well, guess what? The king speaks about mastery. You mastered some kind of a topic, darling dear. That's going to bring you the big pentacle. Mm -hmm. Stable and secure. Whether you're giving advice, it could be legal advice, it could be spiritual advice because the souls represent spirituality. It could be home advice, you could be a teacher of somewhat of some sort, darling India. But whatever it is, someone's going to see you as the one. It's going to look like opposites attract, but this person is focused on you. And you know why it's coming into your life? Because my big cat earth signs, you've been focusing on the bag, getting stable, getting great. This is not the time for self-sabotage. Yeah. A lot of you have been, what, single for a long time. And you, you think you're going to be single forever. But Divine wanted you to, what, change your focus. Past situation, what about the past? Someone who should have been a protector and provider in your life was a lying, cheating, skullduggery scoundrel. A scuzz bucket. Well, guess what? Maybe that's why you were single, darling dears. But your next 48 hours looks fabulous, gorgeous, and lovely. Due diligence pays off. No more low budget and low vibing, darling dear. Opportunities are abounding for you, helping hands, darling dears. It also speaks about a new field. Somebody going into a new field, as I said, a new job, a new business. But somebody still wants to, look what came at the bottom. Somebody who's the devil's strongest worker. You broke your heart, your trust, whatever it was. They broke, they broke, they broke it, they crushed it. Mm -hmm. They're watching you, mate. Lying and mouth breathing to boot. You may have as much as two progeny involved in a situation or the person coming towards you, darling dear. 
Whoever this past person was, it was in and out energy, darling, did it? Could never have worked. This is why you had to what? Cut them off. Take this leap of faith in a different direction where you left the challenges behind and bucked upon the wheel of fortune, having tapped into your creativity and your passions, and now you're being blessed in their face. That isolation was more for you to what? Get into your cerebral, darling, dears. Understanding what works for you and moving towards that at a hot trot. And again, the Tower card speaks about the sudden change which you brought into your life when you blocked out things that no longer served you. It also speaks about the spiritual protection, darling, dear. A good idea. It was a good idea for you to remain strong and drama free. Not tempted off your flip flop. You paid your knees. Mm -hmm. Going to calmer waters and meeting like minded souls. Continue to make the right choices. Choose wisely. Final card. We're going to go with Ye Old Kipper. Mm. You've got papers on someone. They're going through the justice and the judgment of it all, darling dear. A main male, this is a number two, who thinks they're a number one. A full-on empress new clothes. It could have been a past person. Yes, be a bit. The same one that's looking at you with the jealous eyes of a page. And they've also got what? A horde at their back. And they are free to think about you. Mm -hmm. And it also speaks about someone going to prison, darling dear, for creating bad health issues. Good golly and gosh, it could be a two-piece and not from the KFC of the sexual kind. Yeah. Somebody's going for the bad luck of it all, darling, dear. As you continue to what? Be blessed in their face. An official position. You could be in the armed forces. <coughs> but it also speaks about what your badge of, of, of officialdom. I told you, you've mastered something, my earth signs. And their hearts are going boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom. Temperance, your ancestral team ain't ramping. They're showing all of your accolades. Including when you what? Boss up, darling, dear. And this could be the wealthy person coming towards you. Wealth comes in many forms. Keep your boundaries and expectations high over the next 48 hours. On that note, I dropped me mic. Love yourself first. Remember what I said, the golden five. Love the most high, father, God, mother, Isis. Then yourself. Then your progeny if you have it. And after that, it's the body and the bag. Without your health, you don't have your wealth. Your mental health is your wealth. Just saw two, 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 two on the counter. The double of the what? 11, 11 fade, darling, yes. And again, it's reminding you of what your intuition. And um, it goes up to an eight. The number eight speaks about action as well as mastery and accomplishment. Yes, baby. On that note, I dropped me mic. Todd love to my Teesprings. Todd love to my Patreon. Or simply come back here. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Capricorn. Taurus. Virgo. Big cat wave. Until we meet again on these tower streets. Cat, cat. Cat, cat. <laughs>